Hello, ladies. I hope that your day is going well and struggle love free. If you haven't already, please hit the like button, hit the subscription and the notification bell so that you receive notification every time I upload a new video. So in this video, I want to talk about a subject that is one I frequently talk about on this channel since I started uploading videos on a regular basis about a year and a half ago. Um, and that is struggle love. And there was a recent video interview in the news with a black woman celebrity. And I don't want to go too far into focusing on just her because I feel like this is a much bigger issue. But I think what is interesting is how it illustrates how far ingrained this mindset of going 50 50 is on our demographic. So we're here looking at in looking at the video, looking at the interview that she's giving, talking about going 50 50 on bills while her husband has this massive fortune and she has a fortune as well. But his is roughly estimated to be at least three times hers, maybe many more times than that. And yet they're going 50 50. And this is something that people tend to focus on 50 50 when it's the average earner, when it's middle class when it's lower income relationships where the woman is bringing her 50 to match the man's 50 on all of the household bills but here you have an example of what would be the highest income level and going 50 50 and how this is transcending all economic levels but you see the consistency with whom is going the 50 50 because we are seeing this with us all throughout the country, all throughout the economic bracket, the income bracket, the zip code, this expectation of going half on the bills. And I'm sorry, I am never, ever, 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 ever going to be a pro proponent of going half on the bills being a roommate bill payer in a relationship. Because the fact of the matter is, I've had roommates before and in college and even after college living with family and the expectation was we would go half on the bills but that wasn't a romantic relationship it certainly wasn't in a marriage i do not believe it will ever be beneficial to be in a relationship where you have to go half on everything i just do not i can't go there now even if the man is making slightly more that would still be a hypergamous relationship versus a hypogamous relationship which i am also not a proponent of hypogamy so there is something about hearing that that just makes me cringe and of course if you choose to be in that relationship that is always your prerogative but my opinion my feelings, my experience regarding the 50-50 bill pay is that that is not a good dynamic to be in a relationship where you have to split half of the bills. I believe that because women, we make less than men because of the fact that we do more of, in general, we do more of the household duties, more of the cooking, the cleaning, the child rearing, that we should not also be going half on bills. I believe that in a relationship, we should have an expectation of being with a provider as well as a protector. That should be the expectation. And so it is, I guess, somewhat surprising, but not totally. And it is disappointing to know that if your husband is, has a fortune three times yours, 10 times yours, that you have still got to split the if there is a mortgage the electric bill the cable the cell phone the caregivers that if you have a maid a cook if you have a landscaper all of that down the middle and what does that say collectively about us when we have that expectation in relationships of the 50 50 bill pay roommate relationship roommate marriage well we know that historically we have had the dynamic of being encouraged, being socialized, being groomed to be in either struggle love or to be and or to be in relationships where we have to go half on everything. We have been taught a scarcity model. We have been taught to be either the come up, fall back, the come up woman, the fall back woman, 
to endure this ride or die expectation, which is not always returned or reciprocated, where it is one sided too many times. So when we have collectively been taught decade after decade and generation after generation, although we are seeing the tide turn, finally, thank God, we're recognizing that we don't have to settle in relationships. But this is something that has long been ingrained and so sometimes it does take time to unravel and to step out of this this sort of cocoon of cognitive dissonance and to reject what has become normative for us so this is something that's been passed down saying that we have to go half on the bills and we have to date down and we have to settle and a piece of a man is better than no man at all and all of these really problematic mindsets and ideologies that really need to be discarded immediately if we haven't already immediately and we can change that paradigm even if it's starting today because it's rooted in fear it's root rooted in scarcity as i talked about in the previous video it is rooted in scarcity of being afraid of being alone of being afraid of missing out on a relationship so acquiescing to lowering our standard, a lowering of standard, a lowering of criteria. And when a group of women has been taught, as we've been taught in this country, that we do have to endure struggle love and that we do have to deal with 50-50 bill paying and that we do have to be this ride or die, even if it's not reciprocated. And we do have to build a man like a Build-A-Bear workshop then it sets us up with a mindset that even when we reach higher economic levels, we can still retain that same mindset. And so that's why it's so important that we are healed, that we address any sort of insecurities that we have, fears that we have in terms of relationship so that we are in a healthy relationship, so that we have a construct in place where we know that we are worthy of being with a provider and a protector. Because for some women, it's been taught so long that you have to be desperate for a man and you have to carry pick me energy to where we don't even have the expectation that we should expect to be with a provider, that we can have a provider. We feel like we sort of have to buy a relationship. We have to do a, a pay for play. So if we're going to have a man, we got to help him out with his bills and we have to loan our car and we have to let him use our assets and resources and we have to go 50 50 down the middle, even when it's not financially advantageous. We have to go half on these bills for indefinitely, for perpetuity. And so we have to really recognize these problematic notions, these detrimental phenomenon that have been passed down, these scenarios that have been passed down in terms of what has been groomed for us what has been socialized to us for what we should accept in a relationship. We should only be expecting to be in a healthy relationship, in a relationship that enhances us, that's going to be mutually supportive and loving and where there is faithfulness and where we are a benefit to each other, where it's not one-sided, where it's not non-reciprocal, where it's not pay for play, where it's not us trying to buy a man's love, where it's not us participating in the pick me Olympics. And I don't like to just, label upon a woman as a pick me but rather it's a spirit it's a spirit operating that's saying i need to be so desperate for love that i'll accept anything and we need to discard that notion we need to bury it we need to bury this notion that we need to be desperate for a relationship because we can be happily single at peace have stability have vision have goals recognize our worth have high esteem we don't have to be bamboozled into thinking that any sort of relationship is worth being entangled in, that we have to accept any sort of treatment, that we have to discard our standards and our criteria and our boundaries, that we have to be mired in struggle love and that we have to be the come up woman. No to all of those. No to every one of those and all of those collectively. We don't have to do that. We can recognize our worth, recognize our purpose that God has intended for us, and we can embrace relationships are healthy, or of course we can be happily single. 
because it's not required that we be in a relationship, particularly not one that isn't enhancing our life, that's really detrimental to us. And especially when we know that this is very slanted and that it is very targeted in terms of us being the demographic that's taught this notion, taught this notion of struggle love and taught this notion of the 50-50 bill pay in relationships for perpetuity, that we can discard that and not accept that as a standard for us. And that's whether we're 20, 40, or 60. Because women are dating at all ages. Women may be re-entering the dating world. You may be looking at getting remarried. You may be looking for companionship. But that does not mean that we have to settle, that we have to accept struggle love, that we have to go 50-50 on all these bills, or that we should accept differently from any other demographic of women, that we should have to go half on everything as the price of admission. Very important that we know our worth and that we not settle. And again, if you're perfectly comfortable paying 50-50 in a relationship, so be it. But understand that that doesn't have to be your standard and that you don't have to be limited to that and you don't have to feel like that is required to be in a relationship because you are not worthy of a provider. Let me know what you think in the comments beneath the video. As always, be blessed, continue to level up, stay far away from dysfunctional notions, mindsets, and philosophies because you deserve better.